All right, Maybe let's uh, let's talk about Valentine's Day. Uh, just this past week, uh, hopefully had a great day. Um, whether you turn your apps on and let the uh, ride just go through, and hopefully a lot of people did that where it was pissing off some passengers or not, um, or you kept the app off, up to you guys what you wanted to do. Um, there were several protests all around the country. Uh, unfortunately, I know in Buffalo, I didn't see any place that was actually like, congregating um you know i looked at a couple of places i didn't see anything on their facebook groups either our local ones um so unfortunately uh that is what it is but uh you know there were a lot of people that were out and not but uh um sergio how, how were you enjoying and seeing was, the, uh, it, was, yeah, it was good i was at the uber hub um you know from 12 to 2 with rdu right here drivers united we did a live stream of about an hour, like 15,000 people watched that thing, bro. And uh, all I can say is this, you know, for all the naysayers who go, ah, the strike didn't work. First of all, it's not a strike. It's a protest. It was a, it was a peaceful protest of hundreds some drivers in front of the Uber building, you know, wearing their green shirts. And this is not about, you know, putting a kink in the armor of Uber, okay? I personally, I said that in the Business Insider quote, I had on Monday of the of the uh, protest, I said, look, it's not going to create a liquidity crisis for Uber, meaning it's not going to create shortage of supply, okay, because our reach is not big enough. But what it did, Chris, is that once that Business Insider article hit Monday morning, and Jacob, thank you, thank you for being my voice, um, bro, Reuters picked up the exact same article, CNBC, NBC, ABC, local mm -hmm. stations, but... I'm telling you, if you Googled Uber, just Uber, no news, just Uber, every item of news was protest, strike. strike, protest, yep. strike, protest, strike. So what does it yep. do? It keeps the shit in front, right? That's what we got to do. One thing Uber hates the most is bad PR, period. I'm, I'm telling you this. I know this. So they got bombarded with this stuff for two, three days, 72 hours. Started on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through. And even now they're running articles. Some newspapers are running articles, right? Mm -hmm. So in that sense, it was a massive success. It was 25 cities, Canada. Um, look, all we want to do is we want to put that in front, always up front. Because if a legislator sees that in a city council and is friendly to the cause of the driver, that's how it goes because they don't know. We need to keep this going. We have momentum. We need to keep pushing. We need to keep it going. Did it create surge? I really don't give a rat's ass if it created surge or not because Uber can manually fucking bullshit the surge anyway. What difference does it make? Did some people turn the apps off? They did. Did some leave it on and not accept chips? They did. I had so many emails. Oh, Serge, I'm leaving the app on and letting it run. I'm like, great. So in that sense... As far as keeping it in the news, keeping it in the media, keeping it in front of eyeballs, millions of eyeballs. Because what's happening, Chris, is like everybody's news feed was flooded. And that included millions of passengers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because there's only three, four million drivers in the U.S. between Uber and Lyft, but there's 150 million passengers. They all read that day after day after day after day. So that's how we're going to play this game. I mean, they can play the game. They can play the PR game. We can play the PR game. I'm all right with it. And I thought in that sense, it was a great success. I think getting the word out there was very successful. I think, you know, the um, the next step is where it's lacking right now. And that yep. is everybody was pushing for Valentine's Day, but nobody was thinking ahead. You have to continually think ahead from building one event to the next. And you got to continually do it. So it can't just be, oh, Valentine's Day. And now what? Is it St. Patrick's Day next? Is it going to be in June? I mean, is it going to be the solar eclipse? Is it? I mean, what's the next no, one? There, you there have, has to you be, have to yeah. Build from event not, to event. If you don't build event that. to event, you know, it, it, it's just going to fall flat, flat on its face because, you know, you, you said the 72 hours that you saw from Monday through Wednesday and then even some follow-ups and stuff that are going on currently, you know, that's going in people's faces. But if it yep. just goes away, it just goes away. So now is the time where it's got to, all right, what's the next one? Where's the next one going to be? Is it going to be St. Patty's Day? Because that's the next big holiday that's coming up. Um, is it going to be, you know, that Saturday? And I don't even know what St. Patty's Day is, actually. Yeah, um, but no. is it going to be that Saturday whenever all the events are going on? I mean, w what's the next one? And then again, going and building from there. Um, like I say, if you're going to the airport, great. But next time, go to a busy intersection and, and, you know, hold your signs out front when it comes to 
those busy times and things like that. So people are seeing it as well. And, you know, they see it on the news, but then they see it actually happening in front of them on their streets. You know, that's going to be a huge thing too. So it's, it's, that's the next thing. Instead of just worrying about, you know, getting the, the play in the news, I think that's good. You know, it can be repeated. Absolutely. But I think the next thing that people should focus on next event and then going gearing up for, for after that. So there, there should be at least always three events or so in the pipeline. Oh, there's one happening St. Patrick's Day. Oh, there's one happening on uh, this, this, yeah. uh, the, the solar eclipse. I, I mean, like whatever it might be, that's April 8th because it's coming yeah. through Buffalo. No, I so think, that's, you, know, you know what? Like, I all think of these I things think... need to be done in order to be able to continually push it where it's going to grow bigger and you're getting that snowball. Yeah. It's just going to grow and grow and grow. Well, we've I've been part of these few times uh, with RDU specifically, and um, this one uh, unequivocally got more play than any other time because social media helped, Twitter, all these, you know, a lot of drivers were participating in 20, 25 different cities. And all it takes is like just light the fire, right? So we have lit the fire. Now we got to grow the fire. And I agree with you. Um, you know, it may not hurt Uber and Lyft financially, although. Uh, I'm told <laughs> there were 20% more drivers this Valentine's Day on the platform than there were last year. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. If there were only 20% more drivers this Valentine's Day than year over year last year, but Uber has 30% more drivers oh. than last year. Mm -hmm. oh. about... Ah, so what happened to that 10%? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, uh, you know you are again so so my yep. thing is i think it was a success as far as news coverage as far as media coverage i think it was a great success and uh we got to keep it going and that's how we're going to get into you know if, if we're going to bring these people to the table that's how we're going to do it you know they're just going to pressure 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 and you know they're not going to voluntarily go oh yeah i was just going to pay you more although chris i sent you the cre screenshots we're going to show it this proves, people, that Uber can turn the faucet on or off. First of all, this was right above my house. I tweeted this. A lot of glass half-empty people said, oh, it looks like Mickey Mouse. This is right next, next to my house, right? I thought it was ironic that the surge was in the shape of a heart on Valentine's Day. Now, if it was any other day, I probably would have said Mickey Mouse myself, okay? But I see a Valentine's mouse because Day. I mean, it, there's like three little dots where it looks like two eyes and a nose, and then there's like this yeah. little tail that's off to the side. So that it, yeah. it looks more like a, a Mickey Mouse than it does. Uh, but I mean, okay. you, you could see a heart too. Okay, I, I because it was Valentine's Day, I didn't say it. I go, oh look, Uber is you know putting a you know heart on around my house. I'm like, like it was a joke, people, and then people go, oh no, it looks like Mickey Mouse. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I have a sense of humor, and. Uh, but this wasn't the idea. The, the thing was, uh, while I was at the protest, you know, um, this is the protest right there uh, in front of the Uber Hub. You all should know if you're in L.A. on Wilshire. Um, I mean, sorry, on Beverly. Um, they had some security. They had the entrance of the building closed, news cameras, you know, all kinds of stuff. And it was civil. It was loud. There was a lot of support, which was good. And then uh, the next screenshot um is um uh, uh there was one gentleman protesting the protesters chris <laughs> right there uh, you gotta complain about something right <laughs> no he was protesting the protest and <laughs> he's lucky okay i know who this guy is okay he's not here because i don't think he enjoys my company anymore he did okay we did a behind the wheel story with this guy todd he's from oceanside california he drove all the way up to protest the protesters with his own signs. He was just by himself. At some point, he was surrounded by like 10 to 15 green shirts. And I'm going like, Todd, you're lucky you're not in the Middle East because they would have chopped your head off right then and there. That's why I tweeted, this is the greatest country on the planet. Everybody has a voice. Everybody has an opinion. He came without harm to his being, you know, protested the protesters because he has named his uh, minivan Dara, nicknamed the minivan Dara. He's a huge believer in Uber and Lyft. And look, his op opinion is valid as anything else, although he was by himself. And 
there was some yelling matches, but then when everybody lost interest in him, you know, there was this guy kind of, you know, so talking to him. Let me get about this it. Even though he was protesting the protest, he still participated in the protest because he wasn't in his car driving. He was at the protest protesting. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so he's on, he's on the driver's side Whoa. no matter what. He <laughs> just might be like, you know, I'm drinking the Uber Kool Aid, but. Uh... <laughs> Hey, look, you know what? He's a smart guy. He's a successful driver. You know, he sits home, uh, turns his app on, uh, works 25 hours a week, makes his 1500 with Excel trips and mostly reserve trips, but he doesn't understand the pain that the rest of the country is going through. So, yep. you know, he was there and look, everybody had a voice. And then what I discovered, Chris, is that a lot of drivers were sending me screenshots of trips. All right. Now, you know, if we put any of these up in cash or trash, all of these are cash because, Chris, without surge, the day of Valentine's Day, the day of the protest, look at some of the pricing on these trips, Chris, okay? Ooh, let's take a look at the middle one, okay? It's an Uber X trip, 8.9 miles, 1.1 one mile, 1 .1 mile pickup, 36 minutes, and 6 is 42 minutes for 30 bucks. That trip, Chris, today was priced at 18 so hmm. without surge, Uber turned the spigots up saying that in case there is a shortage of drivers, let's pay the drivers well today. So this is what the upfront algo can do as well. This is what the upfront algo can do. They can they can bump the prices up to levels that it should be exactly what? Normal times, right? Look at even the trip radar trips, Chris. Look at those two trip radar trips. And I would click on that thing as fast as I can. You know what I'm saying? Look yeah, at the bottom one. Are you crazy? Is that, that would okay? All these would be half today. All right, literally half price. The the trip radar trip on the left, the bottom one, one hour and two minutes, nineteen point four miles, fifty bucks, no surge. In what world our price, LA prices are like this? Not a goddamn chance. The one on the right, um, Uber Comfort trip, an hour and twenty one minutes, thirty two miles, sixty bucks, Chris. I'm like. Mm -hmm. In what world? Oof. No way. It, it, that, so cash, Uber was like cash, cash, cash. <laughs> all cash, cash, ding. And look at this one. Look at the one on the right. Again, one hour trip, um, 18 miles, 40, 47 bucks. Uber X. Not a goddamn chance on the planet. None that these would be priced like that. So Uber was like, okay, in case we have a shortage, let's pay these drivers well today so we don't have the shortage. I'm like, these, if Uber, if you price trips like this, I will you accept every single one, every single one. Yeah, and you wouldn't have these problems. I mean, you, you nope. cut down 95% of your problems, to be honest. You'd still have the 5% the of complainers that are going to complain. Oh, I, I, but yeah, I, I, no, th those literally, all of them are cash in, in my book. I'm looking at them all cash. All cash. Um, all cash. I mean, you can't complain at those. Those are all well over the 30, 32 active hour, too. 50 bucks, $50 an hour, bro. All 50 bucks an yeah, hour. And not just hour. that. My thing is, like, it proves that Algo can pay if Algo wants to mm. pay. And obviously, they go, like, I'm telling you, all these chips are half price in LA. No joke. Right. And what, the so, 40, 50, 60% higher, that means it's doable, Uber. I mean, yeah. obviously, I mean, you know, I have make so many of those. I was like, did you accept it? it? I go, yeah, yeah, of course I accept it. <laughs> Look, make it every day. You don't need to charge the, the the surge pricing. If surge pricing comes in, hey, then that's the bonus again. So that would be a lot better. Uh, no, none of them had surge. Just running a two X surge, and we just didn't see it, which is probably no, what was going on. They were just base trips, wow. Chris. Base trips, two dollars a mile. Base trips, fifty bucks an hour. All of them. I'm like, yep, take it, take it, take it. You know. So yeah, it okay, here you go. Over. So Ricky Leaf. Uh, I would change four one to four eight because that's the summer. Uh, that's the eclipse. Um, so if you, it, it, I, I like that idea though, right here we got uh, um, protest three sixteen or three seventeen um, because it's I just looked three seventeen is March uh, is Sunday. Then go four eight because that's this the uh, eclipse and that is going to draw a ton of people throughout a lot of the Midwest and Eastern Seaboard because. Uh, is going over through many, many cities, um, including Buffalo. We're in the heart of it. Uh, so, yes, I would say that. Uh, you could do Mother's Day, 614, I'm assuming, is Father's Day, and July 4th. Um, you know, th there you go. You got five events lined up, and 
those are the days that you should be looking at. And then, you know, as, as one ends, you bring another one on. So again, you go from event to event and then you say, Hey, we're doing another strike. So when the news picks it up next time on, on, uh, St. Patty's day. Oh, yes. There's also one on the, there's also a strike coming on the, during the solar eclipse on four, eight. So those, that's again, where you're building event to event and you're building that snowball. That's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Exactly. Exactly right there. Looks like Uber gave the drivers the full fare. Yes, they did. That means, mm. Dara, it is possible under upfront fares to pay us well. Okay? There you go. Yep. Um, the other thing is, you know, the first time, actually, I, I talked to Jacob at Business Insider for a week. I was like, Jacob, there is a strike. There's a protest. Are you going to cover? He goes, no, let me talk to my editor. Ah, let me talk go buddy <laughs> i sent him screenshots every day keep working keep working he goes okay i talked to my editor we're gonna cover it i'm like okay great <laughs> fine thank god and the uh, professor was in the article uh i sent the professor's contact to jacob the business insider i go i don't care if i'm in it or not as long as the protest gets some play um rdu nicole moore was in the article i'm like and then once goes what you know all this media they go oh there's something must be going on Let me, we have to pick it up now right all it takes is yep. one. You open you open that door and boom, everybody's right behind it. So anyway, yep. so uh yeah, those those fares were juicy, bro. I I would take every one of those. Not now, a, not even a thought. Driver, uh, now who who drove and how much did you make on Valentine's yeah, Day? Exactly. Put it in which, there. I want to yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. You know, a lot of them like, oh, you're scabs. I'm like, look, we can't strike. We're independent contractors, okay. Yeah, right. I mean, you can still have you can still have the voice, and and again, there, there's the protest of doing those things. Um, you know, I, I think leaving the apps on uh, is a, a smart decision there um, to to let them run through because the more people that are doing that, again, it's going to help clog up the systems a little bit. So even though surge might not be showing up, you know, the, the riders aren't still able to get their their rides because it's just going from person to person to person, just pinging back and forth. Um, and then again, if you're going to busy intersections where people are actually seeing it, plus the news, it's just going to reinforce that fact. And then you have to talk to your passengers. So now that nobody is striking, everybody's out working again. You know, you talk to your passengers. Hey, did you see about the strike? Did you did you have any yeah. problems? Talk to them. Yeah. If they're receptive about it, you'll know about that. And you'll be able to have that conversations where you can help educate them exactly what's going on. You can also find out what they're paying is they're going to be pissed off because they're paying more than what they should be paying or what they're yeah. used to paying. So they're going to be angry. They're not making any more money. And so, again, you, you got two people in a car or a couple of people in a car that are just not happy. And you guys can, can connect, connect on that. You have common ground. And, okay, uh, you know, gonna, again, you're going to from one bro. event to the next event to the next event. And it's just going to build and build and build. And more people, more reach will happen yeah, just probably. from that. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100 percent. And you know what? To me, is like uh, protest was a success. And you, who's this now? Uh, you're gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying my power now. Okay, we'll put you in a timeout. If you don't behave, I'm going to send you to YouTube heaven. Um, so, um, yeah, protest was a success as far as I'm concerned. To be repeated, keep the pressure on. We have momentum. Good things are happening. We'll keep you posted on all that, the legislative side especially. And somebody said they did not pay the full fare. You know, you know what? They paid the just fare. That is the price for that trip, okay? That should be the yep. price for that trip on a daily basis, on base fares. And they passed it on to the passenger. Who cares? If it's their business, not my business. But I will accept all of those. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.